Hey there, TFAX family. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some sizzling updates from the world of reality TV that's sure to keep you entertained. Let's dive into the latest from The Golden Bachelor and The Golden Bachelor in it. Here's what we've got lined up for you. First up, we have some intriguing buzz about Jerry Turner and Theresa Nist. Did these two hit it off again after their quickie divorce? Fans are speculating as Jerry's recent social media activity has sparked rumors of a rekindled romance. What's the real story here? Stay tuned. Next, we're turning our attention to Leslie Fema from The Golden Bachelor. Dating rumors are swirling around her and Golden Bachelorette contestant Jordan Heller. Is there something brewing between these two? Leslie spills the tea on what's really going on. Now, let's dive into the fascinating history of Pascal Ebge, contestant on The Golden Bachelorette. It turns out one of his exes was a hair model for his salon. What's the backstory behind this hidden gem? We've got the details. So finally, we're talking about Pascal Ebge again, but this time it's all about his unique insights post-elimination. He's not holding back after self, eliminating during fantasy sweet week, especially regarding the rumored winner. What did he say that has everyone buzzing? Let's get into it. Make sure to stick around as we unpack each story in depth. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more juicy updates from your favorite reality shows. Let's get started. Let's kick things off with Jerry Turner and Theresa Nist. After a whirlwind romance, these two made headlines when they married in January 2024, only to split just months later in April, making their marriage the shortest in Bachelor Nation history. Now, fans are buzzing with speculation about whether they might have rekindled their relationship. Jerry recently posted on social media, sparking curiosity among fans who are wondering if the former couple is giving love another shot. Some believe they might have called it quits too early, arguing that with a little more effort, their relationship could have thrived. You might remember that their divorce came right during a bittersweet moment for Theresa, as her daughter announced her pregnant at the same time just last week. Theresa welcomed a new grandson, sharing the joyous news on Instagram. Fans recall how Jerry was the oldest bachelor in the franchise's history, choosing Theresa as his final Rose winner. Their instant connection was captivating, yet their sudden split left many supporters scratching their heads. To add fuel to the fire, Jerry was rumored to join the cast of season 33 of, of Dancing with the Stars, although he was replaced by contestants Joey Grizietti and Jen Tran. Still turning heads online, Jerry took part in a viral dance challenge, showcasing his impressive moves and leaving fans wondering what could have been if he had made it to the dance floor. In a recent post, Jerry recreated a popular dance routine that left some fans confused about who his partner was. One comment even joked about it being Theresa, but Jerry clarified that it was actually his granddaughter-in-law, Cameron dancing with him. His fans were amazed by his agility and have even begun calling for him to join the next season of DTS. So what do you think? Are Jerry and Theresa truly back together? Or is it just wishful thinking from fans? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. No, let's shift gears and talk about Leslie Fima from the, the Golden Bachelor. Recently, rumors have been swirling that she's been getting close to Jordan Heller, a contestant from the Golden Bachelorette. Fans have been anxiously awaiting confirmation, and now we have some exciting updates. Despite the speculation, Leslie took the time to address the rumors during a recent podcast appearance. While it's true that the two were seen together at a soccer match in Los Angeles, Leslie made it clear that they are not officially dating at this time. However, she did express that she's open to the possibility of dating Jordan, given that they both in the Midwest. Leslie in Minnesota and Jordan in Chicago. The logistics of a potential romance seem favorable. Leslie also caught the attention of Bachelor Nation fans with her impressive background. She's a former professional figure skater and has starred in workout videos back in the 80s. Her dance skills have fans eager to see her on Dancing with the Stars, especially after seeing her in the audience at a live DBTS show recently. And while Leslie had her time in the spotlight, it wasn't just her dancing skills that shone. She showed off some moves of her own while hanging out with her for former rival and close friend, the Resonist. They were seen enjoying the VIP treatment together and sharing laughs, demonstrating that their bond has grown stronger since their time on reality TV. So could Leslie and Jordan be the next power couple in Bachelor Nation? The chemistry is undeniable and we're all here for it. What do you think about Leslie potentially dating Jordan? Let us know in the comments. Next up, 
let's dive into the captivating story of Pascal Ebgoa from uh, The Golden Bachelorette. Fans of the show have been intrigued by Pascal, uh, particularly because he has kept much of his past under wraps. Recently, some sleuthing fans uncovered an interesting tidbit. One of Pascal's exes was actually a hair model for his salon, Pascal Porel. As the contestant season unfolds, viewers have seen Pascal grow closer to Joan Vasso's The Season's Lead. However, he's been somewhat mysterious about his previous relationships. A fans have been eager to learn more about his love life, especially as he has three children with two different women. The discovery about his ex being a hair model has sent fans into a frenzy. People are curious about the dynamics of their past relationship and how it might influence Pascal's journey to find love on the show. In fact, it was during a birthday video posted by his daughter, Natalie, that the connection to his ex was made clearer. She wished her mother, Carla, a happy birthday, which led fans to piece together their history. As the show continues, viewers are wondering if Pascal will open up more about his past during his time with Joan. The two will have their first opportunity for deeper connection on their fantasy suite dates, and many are hoping he'll share more about his experiences and what he's looking for in a partner. So, what are your thoughts? Do you think Pascal will reveal more about his past during the fantasy suites? And how does this new information about his ex empower his journey on the Golden Bachelorette? Let us know your opinions in the comments. Uh, finally, we're back to Pascal Abgui, but this time with a twist. After his emotional self-elimination during the fantasy suite week, the Golden Bachelorette, uh, uh, Pascal opened up about his experience and even took some jabs at the murder winner of the season. Uh, fans were taken aback when Pascal decided to step back from his blossoming connection with Joan. During a recent interview, he explained how he just didn't feel a romantic spark seeing Joan more as a friend than a potential partner. While that revelation may have disappointed some viewers who were rooting for him, Pascal remained classy about the whole situation. However, he didn't hold back when discussing his fellow contestants, specifically calling out Chalk Chapel, who is rumored to be ruling John's heart. Pascal didn't mince words, expressing his discomfort with Chalk's behavior during group dates, even describing it as bizarre. He found Chalk's intense focus on Joan to the point to the almost hovering around her to be unsettling, raising eyebrows about what's really going on behind the scenes. Pascal's candid insights have buzzing and may even lead some to wonder if he has his sights set on becoming the next Golden Bachelor. With his strong personality and outspoken nature, he could be a compelling lead for the franchise. So what will happen next for Pascal and Joan? Will Chuck continue to overshadow him in the competition for love? Share your thoughts on Pascal's jabs and his future in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think about this intriguing season of uh, The Golden Bachelorette.